Durga, also identified as Adi Parashakti, Devi, Shakti, Parvati primary form, name, Amber, Kali and by numerous other names, is a principal and popular form of Hindu goddess. She is the warrior goddess, whose mythology centers around combating evils and demonic forces that threaten peace, prosperity and dharma of the good. She is the fierce form of the protective mother goddess, willing to unleash her anger against wrong, violence for liberation and destruction to empower creation. Durga is also worshipped in the form of her nine epithets called Navadurga. Durga is depicted in the Hindu pantheon as a goddess riding a lion or tiger, with many arms each carrying a weapon, often defeating Mahishasura lit, buffalo demon. She is a central deity in Shaktism tradition of Hinduism, where she is equated with the concept of ultimate reality called Brahman. One of the most important texts of Shaktism is Devi Mahatmya, also known as Durga Saptashati, which celebrates Durga as the goddess, declaring her as the supreme being and the creator of the universe. Estimated to have been composed between 400 and 600 CE, this text is considered by Shakta Hindus to be as important a scripture as the Bhagavad Gita. She has a significant following all over India, Bangladesh and Nepal, particularly in its eastern states such as West Bengal, Odisha, Jharkhand, Assam and Bihar. Durga is revered after spring and autumn harvests, especially during the festival of Navratri. Etymology and nomenclature The word Durga, Durga, Durga literally means impassable, invincible, unassailable. It is related to the word Durg, Durga, Durga, which means fortress, something difficult to defeat or pass. According to Manir Manir Williams, Durga is derived from the roots Dur difficult and Gam pass, go through. According to Alan Danielu, Durga means beyond defeat. The word Durga, and related terms appear in the Vedic literature, such as in the Rigveda hymns 4.28, 5.34, 8.27, 8.47, 8.93 and 10.127, and in sections 10.1 and 12.4 of the Atharvaveda. A deity named Durgi appears in section 10.1.7 of the Taittiriya Aranyaka. While the Vedic literature uses the word Durga, the description therein lacks the legendary details about her that is found in later Hindu literature. The word is also found in ancient post Vedic Sanskrit texts such as in section 2.451 of the Mahabharata and section 4.27.16 of the Ramayana. These usages are in different contexts. For example, Durga is the name of an Asura who had become invincible to gods, and Durga is the goddess who intervenes and slays him. Durga and its derivatives are found in sections 4.1.99 and 6.3.63 of the Ashtadhyayi by Panini, the ancient Sanskrit grammarian, and in the commentary of Narukta by Yaska. Durga as a demon-slaying goddess was likely well established by the time the classic Hindu text called Devi Mahatmya was composed, which scholars variously estimate to between 400 and 600 CE. The Devi Mahatmya and other mythologies describe the nature of demonic forces symbolized by Mahishasura as shape-shifting and adapting in nature, form and strategy to create difficulties and achieve their evil ends, while Durga calmly understands and counters the evil in order to achieve her solemn goals. There are many epithets for Durga in Shaktism and her nine appellations are Navadurga, Shailaputri, Brahmacharini, Chandrahanta, Kushmanda, Skandamata, Katyayini, Kalratri, Mahagauri and Siddhidatri. A list of 108 names of the goddess are recited in order to worship her and is popularly known as the Ashtotishit Namavali of Goddess Durga. <laughs> History and texts One of the earliest evidence of reverence for Devi, the feminine nature of God, appears in Chapter 10.125 of the Rig Veda, one of the scriptures of Hinduism. This hymn is also called the Devi Suktam hymn abridged Devi Sukta Rigveda 10.125.3 to 10.125.8 Devi's epithets synonymous with Durga appear in Upanishadic literature such as Kali in verse 1.2.4 of the Mundaka Upanishad dated to about the 5th century BCE This single mention describes Kali as terrible yet swift as thought 
very red and smoky colored manifestation of the divine with a fire-like flickering tongue, before the text begins presenting its thesis that one must seek self-knowledge and the knowledge of the eternal Brahman, Durga, in her various forms, appears as an independent deity in the epics period of ancient India, that is the centuries around the start of the Common Era. Both Yudhisthira and Arjuna characters of the Mahabharata invoke hymns to Durga. She appears in Harivamsa in the form of Vishnu's eulogy, and in Pradyumna prayer. Various Puranas from the early to late 1st millennium CE dedicate chapters of inconsistent mythologies associated with Durga. Of these, the Markandeya Purana and the Devi Bhagavata Purana are the most significant texts on Durga. The Devi Upanishad and other Shakta Upanishads, mostly dated to have been composed in or after the 9th century, present the philosophical and mystical speculations related to Durga as Devi and other epithets, identifying her to be the same as the Brahman and Atman self, soul. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins The historian Ramaprasad Chanda stated in 1916 that Durga evolved over time in the Indian subcontinent. A primitive form of Durga, according to Chanda, was the result of "...syncretism of a mountain goddess worshipped by the dwellers of the Himalaya and the Vindhyas", a deity of the Aviras conceptualized as a war goddess. Durga then transformed into Kali as the personification of the all-destroying time, while aspects of her emerged as the primordial energy integrated into the samsara cycle of rebirths concept and this idea was built on the foundation of the Vedic religion, mythology and philosophy. Epigraphical evidence indicates that regardless of her origins, Durga is an ancient goddess. The 6th century CE inscriptions in early Siddhamatrika script, such as at the Nagarjuni Hill Cave during the Mokari era, already mention the legend of her victory over Mahishasura buffalo hybrid demon. <laughs> <laughs> Birth Originally she is Adi Parashakti, present before creation and after destruction of the entire universe. She is the ultimate energy but to defeat the Asura Mahishasura all the gods invoked her and as she was present in the form of Shakti in all the gods, so she manifested herself from the three gods Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and the other gods. Thus her manifested form was born, emerged from the gods to end the torture of Asura Mahishasura. She was gifted with different weapons, ornaments, valuable clothes and gold jewelries with precious stones and a lion as her mount before going for the war. European traders and colonial era references Some early European accounts refer to a deity known as Dumas, Demas or Dumo. Western Portuguese sailors first came face to face with the Murti of Dumas at Calicut on the Malabar coast and they concluded it to be the deity of Calicut. Dumas is sometimes interpreted as an aspect of Durga in Hindu mythology and sometimes as Deva. It is described that the ruler of Calicut had a murti of Dumas in his temple inside his royal palace. <laughs> Attributes and iconography Durga has been a warrior goddess, and she is depicted to express her martial skills. Her iconography typically resonates with these attributes, where she rides a lion or a tiger, has between 8 and 18 hands, each holding a weapon to destroy and create. She is often shown in the midst of her war with Mahishasura, the buffalo demon at the time she victoriously kills the demonic force. Her icon shows her in action, yet her face is calm and serene. In Hindu arts, this tranquil attribute of Durga's face is traditionally derived from the belief that she is protective and violent not because of her hatred, egotism or getting pleasure in violence, but because she acts out of necessity, for the love of the good, for liberation of those who depend on her, and a mark of the beginning of soul's journey to creative freedom. Durga traditionally holds the weapons of various male gods of Hindu mythology, which they give her to fight the evil forces because they feel that she is the Shakti energy, power. These include chakra, conch, bow, arrow, sword, javelin, shield, and a noose. 
These weapons are considered symbolic by Shakta Hindus, representing self-discipline, selfless service to others, self-examination, prayer, devotion, remembering her mantras, cheerfulness and meditation. Durga herself is viewed as the self within and the divine mother of all creation. She has been revered by warriors, blessing their new weapons. Durga iconography has been flexible in the Hindu traditions, where for example some intellectuals place a pen or other writing implements in her hand since they consider their stylus as their weapon. Archaeological discoveries suggest that these iconographic features of Durga became common throughout India by about the 4th century CE, states David Kinsley, a professor of religious studies specializing on Hindu goddesses. Durga iconography in some temples appears as part of Mahavidyas or Saptamatkas seven mothers considered forms o Durga. Her icons in major Hindu temples such as in Varanasi include relief artworks that show scenes from the Devi Mahatmya. Durga appears in Hindu mythology in numerous forms and names, but ultimately all these are different aspects and manifestations of one goddess. She is imagined to be terrifying and destructive when she has to be, but benevolent and nurturing when she needs to be. While anthropomorphic icons of her, such as those showing her riding a lion and holding weapons are common, the Hindu traditions use aniconic forms and geometric designs yantra to remember and revere what she symbolizes. <laughs> <laughs> Worship and festivals Durga is worshipped in Hindu temples across India and Nepal by Shakta Hindus. Her temples, worship and festivals are particularly popular in eastern and northeastern parts of Indian subcontinent during Durga Puja, Darshan and Navaratri. <laughs> Durga Puja As per Markandya Puran, Durga Puja can be performed either for nine days or four days last four in sequence. The four-day-long Durga Puja is a major annual festival in Bengal, Odisha, Assam, Jharkhand and Bihar. It is scheduled per the Hindu Luni solar calendar in the month of Ashvin, and typically falls in September or October. Since it is celebrated during Sharad literally, season of weeds, it is called as Sharadiya Durga Puja or Akal Bodhan to differentiate it from the one celebrated originally in spring. The festival is celebrated by communities by making special colorful images of Durga out of clay, recitations of Devi Mahatmya text, prayers and revelry for nine days, after which it is taken out in procession with singing and dancing, then immersed in water. The Durga Puja is an occasion of major private and public festivities in the eastern and northeastern states of India. The day of Durga's victory is celebrated as Vijayadashami Bijaya in Bengali, Darshan Nepali or Dussehra in Hindi. These words literally mean the victory on the 10th day. This festival is an old tradition of Hinduism, though it is unclear how and in which century the festival began. Surviving manuscripts from the 14th century provide guidelines for Durga Puja, while historical records suggest royalty and wealthy families were sponsoring major Durga Puja public festivities since at least the 16th century. The 11th or 12th century Jainism text Yasatilaka by Samadeva mentions a festival and annual dates dedicated to a warrior goddess, celebrated by the king and his armed forces, and the description mirrors attributes of a Durga Puja. The prominence of Durga Puja increased during the British Raj in Bengal. After the Hindu reformists identified Durga with India, she became an icon for the Indian independence movement. <laughs> Darshan In Nepal, the festival dedicated to Durga is called Darshan, sometimes spelled as Dasain, which literally means the Ten. Darshan is the longest national holiday of Nepal, and is a public holiday in Sikkim and Bhutan. During Darshan, Durga is worshipped in ten forms Shailaputri, Brahmacharini, Chandrahanta, Kushmanda, Skandamata, Kachiyani, Kalaratri, Mahagauri, Mahakali and Durga with one form for each day in Nepal. The festival includes animal sacrifice in some communities, as well as the purchase of new clothes and gift-giving. Traditionally, the festival is celebrated over 15 days, the first nine days are spent by the faithful by remembering Durga and her ideas, the tenth day marks Durga's victory over Mahisura, and the last five days celebrate the victory of good over evil. 
During the first nine days, nine aspects of Durga known as Navadurga are meditated upon, one by one during the nine-day festival by devout Shakti worshippers. Durga Puja also includes the worship of Shiva, who is Durga's consort, in addition to Lakshmi, Saraswati, Ganesha and Kartikeya, who are considered to be Durga's children. Some Shaktas worship Durga's symbolism and presence as Mother Nature. In South India, especially Andhra Pradesh, Dussehra Navaratri is also celebrated and the goddess is dressed each day as a different Devi, all considered equivalent but another aspect of Durga. Other countries In Bangladesh, the four-day-long Sharadiya Durga Puja is the most important religious festival for the Hindus and celebrated across the country with Vijayadashami being a national holiday. In Sri Lanka, Durga in the form of Vaishnavi, bearing Vishnu's iconographic symbolism is celebrated. This tradition has been continued by Sri Lankan diaspora. In Buddhism According to Hajime Nakamura, over its history, some Buddhist traditions adopted Vedic and Hindu ideas and symbols. For example, the fierce Vajrayana Buddhist meditational deity Yamantaka, also known as Vajravarava, developed from the pre-Buddhist god of death, Yama. The tantric traditions of Buddhism included Durga and developed the idea further. In Japanese Buddhism, she appears as Butsumo sometimes called Koti Shri. In Tibet, the goddess Paldan Lamo is similar to the protective and fierce Durga. In Jainism The Sachi Yamata found in major medieval-era Jain temples mirrors Durga, and she has been identified by Jainism scholars to be the same or sharing a more ancient common lineage. In the Ellora Caves, the Jain temples feature Durga with her lion mount. However, she is not shown as killing the buffalo demon in the Jain cave, but she is presented as a peaceful deity. In Sikhism Durga is exalted as the divine in Dasam Granth, a sacred text of Sikhism that is traditionally attributed to Guru Gobind Singh. According to Eleanor Nesbitt, this view has been challenged by Sikhs who consider Sikhism to be monotheistic, who hold that a feminine form of supreme and a reverence for goddess is "...unmistakably of Hindu character". <laughs> Outside Indian subcontinent Archaeological site excavations in Indonesia, particularly on the island of Java, have yielded numerous statues of Durga. These have been dated to be from 6th century onwards. Of the numerous early to mid-medieval era Hindu deity stone statues uncovered on Indonesian islands, at least 135 statues are of Durga. In parts of Java, she is known as Loro Jongrang literally, slender maiden. In Cambodia, during its era of Hindu kings, Durga was popular and numerous sculptures of her have been found. However, most differ from the Indian representation in one detail. The Cambodian Durga iconography shows her standing on top of the cut buffalo demon head. Durga statues have been discovered at stone temples and archaeological sites in Vietnam, likely related to Champa or Kham dynasty era. Influence Durga is a major goddess in Hinduism, and the inspiration of Durga Puja, a large annual festival particularly in the eastern and northeastern states of India. Every village, town and city goddess is her form if not a form of Lakshmi. Durga is celebrated across North India commonly with the phrase Jai Mata Dai. She is worshipped as Kamakshi in Tamil Nadu. Major cities like Mumbai named after Mumba Devi a name for Durga and Kolkata from Kalika, a major form of Durga are named after her. One of the devotees of her form as Kali was Sri Ramakrishna who was the guru of Swami Vivekananda. He is the founder of the Ramakrishna mission. Durga as the mother goddess is the inspiration behind the song Vand Mataram, written by Bankam Chandra Chatterjee, during Indian independence movement, later the official national song of India. 
Durga is present in Indian nationalism where Bharat Mata i.e. Mother India is viewed as a form of Durga. This is completely secular and keeping in line with the ancient ideology of Durga as mother and protector to Indians. She is present in pop culture and blockbuster Bollywood movies like Jai Santoshi Ma. The Indian Army uses phrases like, Durga Mata Ki Jai and Kali Mata Ki Jai. Any woman who takes up a cause to fight for goodness and justice is said to have the spirit of Durga in her. See also <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>